19 actors currently cancelled and suffering. Number 19, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill, the lovable goofball from Superbad and the Academy Award-nominated actor from The Wolf of Wall Street seemed to have it all, but 2023 threw him into the cancellation spotlight for reasons nobody saw coming. His ex-girlfriend Sarah Brady came forward with a series of explosive accusations that made headlines. She shared screenshots of text messages where Jonah allegedly imposed strict, almost controlling boundaries on her, dictating what she could and couldn't wear, who she could hang out with and even the types of photos she could post. These weren't your run-of-the-mill requests. They were manipulative and controlling, leading many to label Jonah as a toxic partner, a complete 180 from the fun-loving character we all knew him to be. The internet went wild. Suddenly, Jonah wasn't just that quirky guy from 21 Jump Street. He was being painted as a villain. Where's Jonah now? He's mostly kept a low profile since the scandal broke. No big projects on the horizon. No splashy interviews. It's almost like he's gone underground waiting for the storm to pass. Will he make a comeback? Maybe. Hollywood loves a redemption arc. Number 18. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's cancellation story has all the twists and turns of a Hollywood thriller. Depp, the beloved Pirates of the Caribbean star, once rode the wave of fame like Jack Sparrow on the high seas, but everything took a nosedive when his tumultuous relationship with actress Amber Heard hit the headlines. Depp was accused by Heard of domestic abuse, and as soon as those allegations hit the media, the floodgates opened. The tabloids went wild. Fans who once adored him were suddenly questioning everything. Brand and studios. They didn't stick around to find out. In a flash, Depp was dropped from his iconic role as Jack Sparrow in Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Just like that, gone. And to twist the knife even deeper, Warner Brothers kicked him out of Fantastic Beasts, where he was supposed to be the big bad Gellert Grindelwald. However, Depp wasn't about to fade into the background. In a move that surprised many, he took to social media thanking his fans, the Depp heads, for their unwavering support and rallied them to stand by him. The world watched as the hashtag justice for Johnny Depp took off, with many claiming he was the victim in all of this. In a shocking twist, evidence surfaced that painted Amber Heard as the aggressor in some situations, as we'll see later in this video. This saga was no longer a one-sided cancellation. So where is Johnny Depp today? After years of legal battles and being on the outs with Hollywood, Depp seems to be slowly picking up the pieces. He recently appeared in the film Minamata, playing a photographer documenting the effects of mercury poisoning. The film wasn't a major box office hit. Number 16, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey was riding high as one of Hollywood's most respected actors. Two Academy Awards, a Golden Globe, and a career filled with unforgettable roles, like his sinister turn as Frank Underwood in House of Cards and the jaw-dropping The Usual Suspects. But all of that came crashing down in 2017. It all started when actor Anthony Rapp accused Spacey of making inappropriate advances toward him when Rapp was just 14 years old. Several others came forward with similar stories. The accusations were devastating, and in today's Hollywood, that's all it takes to trigger a swift cancellation. Almost overnight, Spacey went from revered actor to disgraced pariah. What's wild is how Spacey initially responded. He didn't deny the allegations, but instead used the moment to come out as gay. Yeah, he really tried to change the subject, and people weren't having it. The backlash was swift and brutal. Netflix immediately cut ties with him, axing him from House of Cards and leaving his character's face hanging in the wind. Not only that, he was literally scrubbed out of Ridley Scott's All the Money in the World and reshot with Christopher Plummer in his place just weeks before the film's release. Talk about being erased. But the fallout didn't end there. Spacey faced multiple lawsuits, criminal investigations in both the US and the UK, and well, his career hit rock bottom. He vanished from the public eye, and any project with his name attached was basically poisoned. Hollywood turned its back, and it seemed like Spacey had no way back into the industry. Where is he now? Well, the legal battles continue, but most of the criminal cases have been dropped due to various reasons like the accusers not wanting to testify. Yet Spacey's career is in limbo, his name stained. He's no longer the powerhouse he once was and recently told Piers Morgan that he is broke because of legal fees. Number 15. Russell Brand.
Russell Brand was never one to bite his tongue, but little did people expect the British comedian to go from wild comic to anti-establishment firebrand and eventually land himself in hot water. Brand, known for his eccentric role in forgetting Sarah Marshall, found himself in the crosshairs when his outspokenness about politics, media manipulation and woke culture started rubbing some people the wrong way. The comedian turned commentator built an entire platform around questioning mainstream narratives railing against big tech, corporate greed, and what he saw as the increasing control of thought in Hollywood. But it wasn't all cheers and applause for the man who once pranced around the stage in tight pants and wild hair. Some accused him of using his platform to spread misinformation and peddle conspiracies, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic. He questioned lockdowns, vaccine mandates, and the motives of major pharmaceutical companies, which quickly made him a target for those who felt his voice was dangerous. Critics said he had gone from being a funny man to a full-on provocateur, playing fast and loose with the truth to fuel anti-establishment outrage. The cancellation hammer came down hard when platforms like YouTube started restricting some of his content for misleading information. Brand responded in classic Russell fashion. He doubled down. Instead of apologizing or stepping back, he took his fight against censorship directly to his millions of followers, calling out what he believed was the silencing of dissenting voices. So, where is he today? Brand hasn't disappeared, far from it. He's thriving in his new role as a commentator and podcaster, using his sharp wit and fearless attitude to challenge the status quo. Number 14. Gina Carano Gina Carano was on top of the world, playing the badass bounty hunter Cara Dune in The Mandalorian, one of the biggest Star Wars spin-offs ever. Fans loved her, and it seemed like she was destined to be a permanent fixture in a galaxy far, far away. But then BAM! Her entire career took a nosedive faster than the Millennium Falcon in a dogfight. So, what went wrong? Well, it all started with her social media posts. Carano was never one to shy away from sharing her opinions, but things took a dark turn when she compared being a conservative in America to being Jewish during the Holocaust. The backlash was instant and brutal. Disney and Lucasfilm, who have been trying hard to push a more inclusive woke agenda, didn't like that comparison one bit. They called her posts abhorrent, and just like that, she was fired from The Mandalorian. Here's the thing. This wasn't the first time Gina stirred contrast controversy. Before this, she'd already ruffled some feathers with tweets mocking mask-wearing during the pandemic and questioning the integrity of the 2020 US election. While some people found her posts refreshing in an industry dominated by left-leaning views, others were quick to label her as problematic. But when she dropped that Holocaust analogy, it was game over. Where is Gina today? She's sticking to her guns, working on projects with the Daily Wire, and leaning into her status as a conservative icon. But let's be real, none of those films have come close to matching the buzz or cultural impact of The Mandalorian. She has also taken to suing Lucasfilm and Disney. Number 13, Danny Masterson. Danny Masterson, the guy most people remember as Stephen Hyde from that 70s show, went from being one of the coolest characters on TV to getting hit with one of the biggest cancellations Hollywood's ever seen. Masterson wasn't just kicked to the curb for some offhand comment or social media drama. No, he was accused of forcing himself onto multiple women in the early 2000s. These weren't just random allegations either. His accusers were former members of the Church of Scientology and the whole case stirred up some serious dirt about the church's alleged role in covering things up. The accusations had been hanging over Masterson's head for years, but things really hit the fan in 2020 when he was formally charged with three counts of forcible assault. Talk about a fall from grace. When the news broke, Netflix wasted no time cutting him loose from The Ranch, a show he starred in alongside Ashton Kutcher. Masterson tried to play it cool, denying all the allegations and claiming it was all a conspiracy. Masterson faced multiple trials, with the first one ending in a mistrial in late 2022. But in 2023, the second trial nailed him. He was convicted of two counts of forcible sexual assault, leading to a sentence of 30 years Years to life in prison. That's not a Hollywood timeout. That's game over. Number 12. Jussie Smollett. 
Jussie Smollett, who once shined in empire as the soulful Jamal Lyon, saw his career crumble overnight in one of the wildest scandals Hollywood has ever seen. Smollett, in early 2019, claimed he was the victim of a racist, homophobic hate crime in Chicago. He stated that two men hurled racist and homophobic slurs at him, poured bleach on him, and tied a noose around his neck. But then, the plot thickened, and it wasn't in his favor. When police dug deeper, they discovered that the entire attack was allegedly staged. Smollett reportedly paid two men to carry out the assault in an attempt to boost his career and salary on Empire. The backlash came in faster than a speeding bullet. His Empire castmates were left in shock, and as the scandal deepened, Smollett was swiftly written out of the show. Hollywood, which had initially rallied around him, began distancing itself. What made things even worse was that Smollett refused to back down, insisting he was innocent despite mounting evidence to the contrary. The scandal didn't just ruin his acting career, it had major legal consequences too. Smollett was arrested and charged with filing a false police report. He eventually faced trial and was convicted on five counts of disorderly conduct related to the staged attack. He was sentenced to jail time, though he was released pending an appeal after just a few days. He also faced lawsuits, including one from the city of Chicago seeking reimbursement for the cost of the investigation. Number 11, Army Hammer. Army Hammer, once the dashing heartthrob from Call Me By Your Name, had Hollywood in the palm of his hand. His career seemed unstoppable, with his brooding good looks and solid acting chops. But everything changed in early 2021, when a series of explicit Instagram DMs, allegedly sent by Hammer, leaked online. These messages contained graphic descriptions of violent sexual fantasies, including disturbing references to cannibalism. Hammer allegedly expressed desires to drink his partner's blood, eat them, and engage in acts that sounded more like something out of a horror film than anything remotely consensual. Soon after, multiple women came forward, accusing Hammer of abusive behavior, manipulation, and coercion in his past relationships. What made the situation even more damning was that the allegations aligned with the contents of the leaked DMs. As the allegations gained traction, Hammer's once promising career evaporated overnight. He was dropped by his talent agency, WME, and his publicist quickly severed ties. Almost immediately, he was pulled from high-profile projects, including the romantic comedy Shotgun Wedding, where he was set to star alongside Jennifer Lopez. The domino effect continued, with Hammer exiting the offer, a series about the making of The Godfather and being cut from the Taika Waititi director directed film Next Goal Wins. The actor released a statement denying the allegations, calling them vicious and spurious online attacks and maintaining that all his relationships were consensual. But in the court of public opinion, it was too late. After the storm of allegations, Hammer essentially disappeared from Hollywood. Tabloids soon reported that he was laying low in the Cayman Islands, where his family had roots. Then came one of the most shocking turns in the saga. News broke that Hammer Hammer was allegedly working as a timeshare salesman in the Caymans. Photos surfaced of him in casual attire, supposedly giving tours of vacation properties. Number 10. Bill Cosby Bill Cosby, once known as America's Dad, thanks to his beloved role on The Cosby Show, saw his entire legacy come crashing down faster than anyone could have ever predicted. He was the epitome of family-friendly entertainment, the guy who played the wise, funny, sweater-wearing Dr. Cliff Huxtable. People loved him. Ghost Dad. Classic. He was everywhere, and it seemed like his place in Hollywood was untouchable. But then, the truth started coming out, and it wasn't pretty. In 2014, decades-old allegations allegations of sexual assault resurfaced with a vengeance. A slew of women came forward with horrifyingly similar stories, accusing Cosby of drugging and sexually assaulting them. The details were disturbing. Pills slipped into drinks, women left unconscious, and then abused. Cosby's clean, family-friendly image was shattered overnight. How could the same guy who starred in Uptown Saturday Night, a comedy legend and a trailblazer for black entertainers, be accused of such heinous acts? In 2015, 
Cosby was charged with aggravated indecent assault. Cosby, for his part, denied everything. Networks pulled the Cosby show from syndication, his honorary degrees were revoked left and right, and his name, once synonymous with family entertainment, became toxic. Even Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids, which many had grown up watching, felt tainted. In 2018, Bill Cosby was sentenced to three to ten years in prison for sexual assault. His reputation, once bulletproof, was obliterated. He went from being a multi-millionaire TV icon to inmate number NN7687 at a Pennsylvania state prison. It was a shocking downfall that no one could have seen coming. Cosby, now in his 80s, was released from prison in 2021 after his conviction was overturned on a technicality. Hollywood won't touch him, his peers avoid him like the plague, and his legacy is forever stained. Number 9. Shia LaBeouf Shia has always been the wild child of Hollywood, known for his breakout role in Transformers and later his intense performances in films like Fury. But if you thought his on-screen roles were intense, wait until you hear about the storm that hit him off-screen. Shia wasn't just cancelled, he was nuked by controversy. It all kicked off when his ex-girlfriend singer FKA Twigs dropped a bombshell lawsuit accusing him of emotional, physical and even sexual abuse during their relationship. Twigs claimed that Shia was so controlling he isolated her from family and friends, and at one point, he even threatened her life while driving recklessly in a car. The lawsuit was shocking, but Shia's reaction was even more eyebrow-raising. He didn't deny everything. Instead, he admitted to some of his wrongdoings, saying he had a history of alcoholism and aggression. But then, he spiraled into a bizarre form of self-destruction, pulling away from the limelight and checking into a treatment program. What's wild is that this wasn't even Shia's first rodeo with controversy. Remember when he wore that paper bag on his head that said, I am not famous anymore at a red carpet? Yeah, that wasn't just a stunt. Shia was already on thin ice with Hollywood due to plagiarism accusations, odd public behavior, and multiple run-ins with the law. But this latest scandal with FKA Twigs was the final nail in the coffin. Once the accusations went public, LaBaff was essentially blacklisted overnight. The indie darling who starred in Honey Boy, a film about his own troubled childhood suddenly found himself on the outside looking in. He lost major roles like being dropped from Olivia Wilde's Don't Worry Darling and the industry started treating him like a radioactive bomb. Where is he today? Well, he's out of the public eye working on himself, but far from the Hollywood heartthrob who could command a blockbuster paycheck. Number 8. Michael Richards Michael Richards, better known as Kramer from Seinfeld, was once a comedy legend, but in 2006, the world saw a completely different side of him, and it wasn't funny at all. Richards' career was riding high after Seinfeld, but everything came crashing down one night during a stand-up gig at the Laugh Factory in Los Angeles. What happened? He had a full-blown meltdown on stage, unleashing a series of racist slurs toward a group of black audience members. And we're not talking about a few ill advised jokes here. This was an outright rage-fueled tirade that shocked everyone in the room, and thanks to someone filming, the world. Richards later tried to explain it away, saying he was heckled and lost control, but the damage was done. The video went viral before viral was even a thing, and his reputation was shredded. His apology on The Late Show with David Letterman, where Jerry Seinfeld tried to help smooth things over, fell flat. Viewers cringed as Richards nervously rambled through an apology that felt more like damage control than genuine remorse. This wrecked him. Michael went from being a beloved TV icon to Hollywood's most radioactive star almost overnight. He practically disappeared from the limelight after the incident. Studios weren't calling, casting agents weren't interested, and his stand-up career dead in the water. Even attempts to revive his career with roles, like a spot in the film B-Movie, a Jerry Seinfeld project, couldn't bring him back into favor. And where is he today? Richards has mostly stayed out of the spotlight, quietly living a life far removed from the fame he once enjoyed. He's popped up here and there. He had a minor role on Curb Your Enthusiasm in a Seinfeld reunion episode, but nothing close to his former stardom. Number 7. Ezra Miller 
The cancellation of Justice League's Ezra Miller is a wild ride filled with bizarre twists. Things started to unravel in 2020 when a video surfaced of Miller allegedly choking a woman at a bar in Iceland. The internet was stunned, but instead of fading into the background to let things cool off, Miller went full rogue. It didn't stop there. Fast forward to 2022 and Ezra's legal troubles exploded like a bombshell. From arrests for disorderly conduct and harassment in Hawaii, to accusations of burglary and grooming minors. Seriously, how did we get here? Fans who had cheered them on in the flash began to turn away, disgusted by their off-screen behavior. And as the headlines kept coming, it seemed like no one in Hollywood wanted to touch Miller with a 10-foot pole. For months, they stayed silent, almost fueling the rumors. It wasn't until the backlash became too big to ignore that Ezra issued a statement saying they were suffering from complex mental health issues and seeking treatment. Where are they today? Well, after facing legal consequences and attending rehab, Ezra has kept a low profile, but their name still feels like a ticking time bomb. Number 6. Alec Baldwin Alec Baldwin, the star of 30 Rock and Beetlejuice, was no stranger to controversy, but when the tragic accident on the set of Rust in 2021 went down, everything changed in a heartbeat. During rehearsals, Baldwin fired what he believed was a cold gun, but the weapon discharged a live round, fatally wounding cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injuring director Joel Souza. The world was shocked, and so was Baldwin. Now, Baldwin has always had a reputation for being a bit of a hothead. Remember that voicemail where he called his daughter a rude, thoughtless little pig? Yeah, not exactly father of the year material, but this, this was different. Suddenly, Baldwin wasn't just a volatile actor, he was at the center of a fatal incident. People were quick to call him reckless, and soon enough Baldwin was in the crosshairs of a full-blown cancellation. But here's the twist, Baldwin didn't react the way most might expect. Instead of laying low or taking full responsibility, Baldwin took to social media and TV interviews via vehemently denying any guilt. He insisted he didn't pull the trigger, which, cue the gasps, only made things worse. It sparked even more questions. The public wanted answers, and they weren't buying Baldwin's attempts to distance himself. As the drama unfolded, lawsuits began pouring in, including a major one from Hutchins' family, accusing Baldwin of negligence. The consequences were brutal. Not only was Rust put on hold indefinitely, but Baldwin's long-standing career also hit a standstill. Major studio and brands suddenly found him too hot to handle. Projects he was attached to vanished, and endorsements, forget about it. Number 5. Will Smith Will Smith's cancellation was a shocker that no one saw coming, especially for a guy who was once Hollywood's golden boy. We're talking about the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the face of Men in Black, and one of the biggest box office stars on the planet. But in one of the most jaw-dropping moments in Oscars history, Will's entire legacy got flipped upside down in the blink of an eye. Remember the infamous slap? Yeah, that slap heard round the world. It all went down at the 2022 Academy Awards. Will was was about to have one of the best nights of his career, nominated for Best Actor for King Richard. But then Chris Rock cracked a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head, referencing G.I. Jane. What happened next became instant meme material. Will marched up to the stage and slapped Chris Rock across the face like it was a scene straight out of Bad Boys. Then he sat back down and yelled, keep my wife's name out your mouth and suddenly everyone was asking did that really just happen so why did he get cancelled well people were furious will smith mr good guy mr clean image had just assaulted a comedian live on air social media exploded with opinions some were on his side but the backlash was massive many thought he went too far and acted like a bully especially over a joke and it wasn't even rock's most savage then came the public apologies will seemed to realize he had messed up big time the Academy banned him from the Oscars for 10 years. Major projects started falling apart. Netflix and Apple quietly shelved films he was set to star in. And fans started to wonder if this was the end of the Will Smith era. His squeaky clean reputation gone in a flash. Number 4. Jared Leto 
Jared Leto, the Oscar-winning actor from Dallas Buyers Club, is no stranger to controversy, but his reputation took a massive hit when allegations of inappropriate behavior with young women started swirling. Allegations came out that he had been sliding into DMs and engaging in predatory behavior, making many feel uncomfortable about his real-life actions behind the on-screen charisma. Despite all this, Leto mostly brushed it off. He didn't come out with a public apology, didn't address the situation directly, just went on being Jared Leto, but the whispers were loud, and so were the calls for accountability. As the internet roared louder, the industry started to pull back. While not a full-on Hollywood exile, his image definitely took a hit. His portrayal of the Joker in Suicide Squad, already divisive, became an easier target. What made it worse? His reported erratic behavior on set, sending rats and dead pigs to his co-stars in the name of method acting. He remained as elusive as ever, letting his his enigmatic, almost cult-like persona continue, but it became clear that he wasn't getting as many big offers as before, and his name carried a lot more baggage in Hollywood circles. Today, Jared Leto still pops up here and there, most recently in Morbius, a Marvel film that bombed both critically and at the box office, but the allegations continue to haunt him, lingering in the background of every project he touches. Number 3. Amber Heard Amber Heard's fall from grace is one of the wildest cancellation stories in Hollywood. She was on top of the world after starring as Mira in Aquaman, but that all came crashing down thanks to her messy, high-profile legal battle with Johnny Depp. In 2016, Amber accused Johnny of domestic abuse, painting herself as the victim in their turbulent marriage. The world initially believed her. Depp lost movie roles, his reputation took a nosedive, and Amber became the face of the Me Too movement. But then the tables turned. In 2020, Johnny filed a defamation lawsuit against Amber, and what followed was a courtroom drama that played out like a blockbuster movie. Audio recordings leaked where Amber admitted to hitting Johnny. Suddenly, the narrative flipped. People began questioning her claims, accusing her of manipulating Johnny, the media, and the public. The trial exposed shocking details, and Amber's credibility took a massive hit. Social media turned on her with the hashtag Justice for Johnny Depp trending for months. The internet dubbed her a liar, a manipulator, and a fame-hungry opportunist. However, she continued to assert that she was the victim. It didn't help. The backlash grew fiercer, and the public started calling for her to be removed from Aquaman 2. A petition to fire her reached over 4 million signatures, with fans of Depp leading the charge. Hollywood turned its back on her, and major brands distanced themselves. After the bombshell defamation trial in 2022, where she lost and was ordered to pay Depp millions. She tried to keep a low profile. She sold her home in California and reportedly moved to Spain, living a quieter life away from the glare of the Hollywood spotlight. Number two, James Franco. James Franco, once a darling of Hollywood, found himself on the wrong side of the cancellation wave and it hit hard. With a career that boasted impressive credits like 127 Hours, Franco had it all. Talent, charisma, and a slew of fans. But behind that charming smile lurked serious allegations that changed everything. In 2018, amid the burgeoning Me Too movement, multiple women accused Franco of sexual misconduct. They claimed he used his power in the film industry to exploit young actresses, manipulating them into uncomfortable situations during film shoots and acting classes. The consequences hit like a freight train. Franco lost roles in major productions. The once promising project quickly became a distant memory as studios scrambled to sever ties. Awards nominations vanished and he found himself largely blacklisted in an industry that had once celebrated him. Number one, Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. was once the shining star of Hollywood. Known for his electrifying performances in classics like Jerry Maguire, where he famously shouted, show me the money. But now he's facing a storm of controversies that have turned him from Oscar winner to Hollywood's unwanted. What happened? Well, buckle up because the ride is wild. Gooding's downfall began in 2017 when multiple women accused him of sexual misconduct. By 2018, he faced formal charges after a woman claimed 
claimed he groped her at a nightclub in New York City. As more accusers stepped forward, the walls closed in. Suddenly, Cuba was fighting not just for his career, but for his reputation. When the cancellation wave hit, Cuba didn't go down quietly. He proclaimed his innocence, insisting that all interactions were consensual. He even said, I'm a hugger, which, let's be honest, isn't the best defense when facing serious accusations. As the legal battles raged, his public image crumbled and Hollywood turned its back. Once celebrated, he now struggled to land even minor roles with projects that he'd previously lined up, dropping him like a hot potato. Cuba faced criminal charges and attended therapy as part of his plea deal. He lost deals, endorsements, and respect. So where is Cuba Gooding Jr. today? Well, he's still trying to bounce back, appearing in low-profile projects, but the sparkle of his star has dimmed significantly. Click here to see 23 actors exposed as predators. See you there.